Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Marie Yambo and this is Health and Lifestyle, a show that inspires you to adopt a healthy lifestyle. We bring you real life stories and experts to discuss issues that concern you. Well, our social media platforms at Marie Yambo at KBC Channel 1 on X and KBC Channel 1 TV on Facebook is where you can interact with us. Coming up in this show. Whenever somebody comes here, the first thing I tell them is be open to the experience and secondly, surrender and let go to the sound. Sound therapy for stress relief. Kenya's first sound studio, Enso, offers a new way of managing stress. There are different frequencies of sounds that'll resonate with certain neurons in the brain and they will fire in a certain way in response to those sound frequencies. How sound affects your brain? We delve into the science behind sound therapy with a neuroscientist. And of course, we give you health tips to adapt a healthy lifestyle. In today's hustle and bustle, people will try a lot of things to unwind. But have you ever thought of trying sound therapy? Well, it's the latest trend and an alternative to help you relieve stress. With the use of sound balls, gongs and other instruments, sound therapy is meant to move you to a place of self-awareness and healing. The science behind it is how our bodies respond to sound. Well, I got a chance to experience sound therapy at Enso Sound Immersion Studio. Well, take a look. Located in the leafy suburbs of Kitisuru in Nairobi, the melodies of the singing balls... The vibrations of the gong echoed through the Enso Sound Immersion Studio where my colleagues and I tried sound therapy. During the sound therapy, Ali Ada too, a doctor of metaphysics, played instruments. So whenever somebody comes here, the first thing I tell them is be open to the experience and secondly surrender and let go to the sounds. But what is sound therapy? So I'll tell you what, Marie, we are made, I think 75% to 80% of our bodies is made up of water, right? And sound basically creates ripples. It's like you take a pebble and throw a pebble in a still lake and you see the ripples going all across the lake. That's what sound does. And it creates vibrations in your body. So your body feels those reverberations of different instruments and sounds. Once we entered the room, Alia handed us eye masks and encouraged us to let go of the worries of the day. And with each breath that you take, I want you to start to relax. Then she began playing the instruments, creating a symphony of sounds. As you pass through this iridescent light, each instrument bringing us closer and closer to the sounds of nature. The ocean sound, for example, makes you feel like you're relaxing at the beach. And who does not like the sound of rain? That makes you want to cuddle in the blanket and sleep. For the half hour group session, Alia told us to move as little as possible as she placed the balls on the belly of some of the participants to feel the vibrations. What has been the impact on the people she helps, I ask? So many people who've walked out of here, if I can use their words to describe what goes through here, they get into, you know, they experience a great sense of place, you know, high, you know, lots of peace, lots of calm, lots of clarity. We've had people who've come in here with insomnia, for example, and having had a sound healing session, they've managed to, you know, get back to um, healthy sleeping patterns. We've had people who've come with depression and other emotional issues who've managed to find great sense of release once they're here. We also cater to, we've done sessions, for example, for people who are um, audi audibly impaired or the deaf as well, and they've experienced vibrations through the instruments, and that's left them feeling much more calm and at ease. So it's a great way to treat ailments like anxiety, depression. It's a great way to gain better clarity. If you've got, you know, migraines and stuff, sound healing also helps you with that as well. How often then should someone do sound therapy and what should be the takeaway for people who are interested? So at ENSO, we offer sessions almost daily. So we have people booking private sessions daily So for, di for different reasons and different things. We cater to groups, so we have people coming in for their bridal showers, we have people coming in for their birthdays, 
you know, girlfriends gifting each other a nice session for their birthday. It's a beautiful way to start your solar year or solar return. We also do sound healing sessions for corporates. This is becoming a very interesting, um, you know, addition to corporate team building sessions as well because this brings a lot of peace and calm to corporates. You can slowly roll over onto the right side. As the sound therapy finished, we all felt a sense of calm reverberating through us. This experience for me has been the best in terms of the sound because you can walk in nature, but I don't think it can come to anything close to the vibrations that uh, you know the instruments are giving. What I took away was weightlessness. That's, that's what I felt. And I saw streaks of purple whirling around. It was amazing. I felt my body relaxed. Mm. I wish I could do this for a couple of days. So it's not uncommon. Even the body temperature changes. Somebody felt their feet and their hands going cold. Someone felt tingles. So all these are actually positive signs that energy is actually flowing in your body. Wow, what an experience. What is your preferred way of dealing with stress? Well, I'm definitely paying Enso another visit. The sound therapy was so therapeutic. Well, let's hear from some of the participants uh, who attended the sound therapy. Uh, I'm Lorin. For me, the experience was calm. There's a, there's a point I felt like I'm light, like a feather. I was flying. Then when you were, the drums made me shiver also. And I wanted to scream. I wanted to scream, but I was suppressing it. But I really wanted to scream. It felt like I was in the ocean. My, the, the rain sound. I was really, I was imagining I'm in the house and it's raining. It was really raining. <laughs> but it was, it's, um, what can I say? It's a, it's a calm experience. I feel sleepy. I wanted to sleep. I was feeling sleepy at a point. Yeah, but it's a, it's a good experience. I'm Trevor and the... Honestly, I lack words. The feeling was majestic. I felt like I was being lifted up for real. <laughs> yeah. And I wish I could do this almost every week or after a day of work, I just come and sit here and listen to the sounds. Oh, yeah. My name is Martini Maslin. Um, the feeling is magical. I felt carried away by the sound and the voice of the drums and also I felt something like a whirling sound rotating within the ears and it was actually calming also. Yeah. Um, I am Joki, Joki Mushoki. Um, what I took away was weightlessness. That's, that's what I felt. And I saw streaks of purple whirling around the other experience is the experience of the feeling like there was a very gentle flame leaking just the area where the skin touches the hair. And that is fatigue removed. Every bit of fatigue, it's like those vibrations were getting in there and scattering it. So it flowed away. This I would love to do a number of times. My name is Maxwell, Maxwell Okwaro. Yeah, the feeling was so good. I felt the vibration of every, like every instrument, the, the, the drum, the sound was like, uh, it was making me shiver. I felt like I was on a holiday. <laughs> yeah, because the, I felt like the, the, the waves of the ocean were like near, it's only that I couldn't feel the water, yeah, but the feeling was like I was uh, beside the ocean. So my name is Lot, actually I've been meditating for a while and this was a very surreal experience. 
in that I actually felt the blockages in energy being removed uh, due to the vibrations being present within the room, which uh, is very similar to binaural beats. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but this was like the real life experience. And yeah, I, honestly, there's not much to say. It's a lot to take in. I would say don't knock it till you try it. Uh, come and actually experience it yourself so that you can reap the benefits. Well, there you have it. Sound vibrations have a powerful effect on our brain and bodies. Research shows that sound healing can slow down our brain waves and put our bodies in a very relaxed state. It may also help with certain physical and even mental health conditions. Well, to understand the science behind how sound affects the brain and body, I spoke to Dr. Zul Merali. He is a neuroscientist with over 40 years of experience and the founding director of the Brain and Mind Institute at the Aga Khan University. He joins us on Zoom now, all the way from Canada, and he begins by explaining how sound therapy affects our brains. Your brain is, is sort of a three pound organ you carry on top of your body in your skull. It's very protected on it by a hard bone cavity. Um, and it's very isolated in the sense that it's almost like a, a large computer setup, isolated, air conditioned and managed in, in, in isolation and receiving all the information about that needs to be processed. So it's a very dedicated organ and it's extremely, despite the fact that it is very isolated, it is a highly sensory organ in, in the sense that everything that you see or you feel and uh, all your behaviors are controlled by the brain. And um, and so it's it's very sensory org organ, like it's constantly surveying the environment around you um, and synthesizing the information that's coming in to best guide you for your own well-being and survival. That's what the brain does. And so uh, it is reactive to all kinds of stimuli that come into to the brain. So although it's very isolated, it receives a lot of sensory input, all kinds of sensory input, could be sound, could be sight, could be touch, all kinds of feelings collected through your organs that go to, to, to the brain. And, and what's interesting about the brain is that, you know, when you see something, for example, that image is not projected in your brain like a slideshow or like a, a video. As a matter of fact, the sight that you see through your eyes, the sensory organs, immediately get translated into messages that are electrochemical. So the brain only receives electrochemical messages. It doesn't receive all these sounds and all the sights and everything. It receives electrochemical signals that it processes in the brain. And then you have a perception of the environment. So what you see through your eyes is actually perceived through your brain in the back of your back of your head. And so, for instance, if you have a damage to your brain and your eyes are perfectly normal, you can go blind. It is because all the interpretation of this electrochemical messages is done in your brain. So, um, and and the way the the brain communicates. Um, within itself is that it's made up of billions of little cells called neurons. And these neurons um, are, as I was saying, their main mode of communication is either electrical or chemical. Electrical signals run down the neuron, and when it reaches the end of the neuron, it releases chemicals that can stimulate the next neuron to, to, carry, to create another electrical signal. And, and so there are trillions of connections within the brain. So it's so complicated. Um, more, uh, I think by far the most complicated uh, organ in the universe is your brain. Your brain has waves, you know? Yes. So is yes. that how now the, the, the sound enters your body and you feel that calming, um, uh, you know, feeling? Yes. It can be calming or it could be stressful. It depends upon the kind of 
signals that are getting to the brain. As I said, brain always is looking out for yourself, how to protect you, how to make you feel better, how to survive the environment. And so um, all the sensory organs, be it vision, be it sound, be it touch, get connected into, converted into electrochemical signals. And now the brain processes these signals. And the way it processes these signals, one of the ways in which it does that is by creating waves within your brain. So synchronized activity within the brain. So there are many, many states, you know, there. So there's, there's a lot of chatter going on between the neurons and we can't pick them up quite readily because you can't enter the brain. You're picking up the signals from outside. You can see that the brain has certain patterns that you can pick up. Um, you can pick up different kinds of waves, delta waves, theta waves, alpha waves, gamma waves. They're all different types of brain activities that we can pick up. And they, all these the wave patterns are associated with different states. Either you're asleep, there's a different kind of a, a brain wave that goes on when you're attentive to a function uh, or learning, there's a different kind of a wave pattern. Well, when you are stressed, there's a different kind of a wave pattern. So this goes on in the brain and we can pick it up from outside in a very gross way, but it gives us a good signal. So when you talk about sound therapy, it's one of the modalities that can actually influence how those wave patterns are functioning in the brain. And you can, but, but you know, those wave patterns, although they are visible through the EEG system, you yourself are unaware of what's going on. Like if I ask you what state your brain is in right now, you wouldn't know because you can't feel it. So then how do you, because it influences your behavior and your thinking and your emotions, how do you then influence those patterns? And so one way you can influence it is by, by sound therapy. Um, in sound therapy, what I learned is that the, the instruments are tuned to a certain frequency. Yeah. And certain frequencies have a way of affecting our brains. You know, even right. when you talked about gamma, alpha, uh, and all that, theta yeah. waves and all that. So can you kindly just educate us a little bit about vibration and frequencies? Yes. So, <clears throat> so the, the language that the sound conveys to the brain is through frequencies of, of sounds. Um, and the, the frequencies of sounds can be picked up by the body, um, by the brain. When I say the body, I mean the brain. Um, and, and so um, sound can actually, just like when you look at um, visual images. So for example, I can see that you're wearing a red dress. Um, a very nice dress, by the way. Thank um, you. But, <laughs> but, but you, can, you can actually... Um, you know, that so that the light waves that reflect from your dress change the perception of color in my brain. Similarly, the sound is the same way. There are different frequencies of sounds that will resonate with certain neurons in the brain and they will fire in a certain way in response to those sound frequencies, just like uh, my eyes are being influenced by the red of your dress, um, by the light waves that are reflected from your dress. So similarly, those sound waves can influence different patterns within the brain, activate different patterns within the brain. And by being by modulating intentionally some of those frequencies, then you can have an impact on those large waves that I was telling you in the brain. Uh, you can influence them to change the state that you are in, like I, whether you're in an alpha state or theta state, something like that, can be influenced then by those sound waves. Whom would you recommend sound therapy to, and what would you tell people who are skeptical about sound therapy? <laughs> well, that's a difficult question. Um, it, you know, because as I said, Brain is a is a very sensory organ. It's constantly 
picking up all kinds of information and then synthesizing it, interpreting it, and then guiding your, your brain activities to actually change your emotions, change your behavior, things like that. As always, before we end the show, we always give you health tips to, get, uh, to better take care of your health. Take a listen. Are you constantly feeling stressed out? Well, stress can negatively affect the health of our minds and bodies. Well, here are some of the tips for reducing stress. And according to the World Health Organization, keep a daily routine. That means set a time for regular meals, time with family members, exercise, daily chores, and other recreational activities. And this will help you to feel a bit of control, I know, in, in as far as your time is concerned. The other thing that you need to do is get enough sleep. It's important for the body and the mind. Well, sleep also repairs and relaxes and rejuvenates our bodies and helps reverse the effects of stress. Good sleep habits include go to bed at the same time and get up at the same time each morning. The other tip is that make your sleeping area quiet, dark, relaxing, and at a comfortable temperature. Limit the use of electronic devices such as TVs, computers, and smartphones, before sleeping that is. Now the blue light from smartphones can disrupt melatonin, which is a hormone that helps the body to know it's time to sleep. Also, avoid large meals and caffeine and alcohol before bedtime. Get some exercise. Being physically active during the day can help you fall asleep more easily. It's also important to have social connections, so connect with others, keep in touch with your family and friends whom you can share uh, whatever issues you're going through. And eat healthy, it's also another tip. What we eat and drink can affect our health. Avoid junk food and eat a well-balanced diet at, a, at regular intervals. Drink enough fluid, for instance, you know you're supposed to take at least two liters of water in a day. Exercise regularly, such as walking, swimming, dancing, whatever it takes that makes you happy, just ensure that you have some movement. Limit time on social media. Studies have shown that social media can cause depression. And last but not least, we're talking about sound therapy. Do not forget that you can also do sound therapy as a way of relieving stress because sound therapy helps to calm your brain, thus relieve stress and diminish anxiety and gives you clarity. Well, that's where we end the show today. Thank you so much for taking the time to participate in this show. And of course, on behalf of everyone who made this show possible, that is Enso Immersion Studio and also Dr. Merali for the you know, informative uh, information as far as the impact of sound therapy on our brains. We say thank you to all of them. And of course, if you've missed any part of this particular show, you can head to our YouTube channel where you'll be able to watch the whole show. Our social media handles at Mariambo at KBC Channel 1 on X and also on Facebook, that is KBC Channel 1 TV. You'll be able to catch this show right there. Well, I hope to see you again next time.